Welcome to the North Hudson Public Works slash Utilities Committee virtual meeting via Zoom Tuesday, January 19, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. Item number one on our agenda is call to order roll call, please. Here, Pike. Here. Trustee Head. Here. Trustee Matz. Here. All right, item number two, approve the minutes of December 15, 2020, public works meeting. Need a motion. Move to approve the minutes from the December 15, 2020, public works meeting. Second. All right, any discussion, any changes? Look good to me. All right, all in favor say aye. 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 And opposed. Um, item three is comments from the floor. And all we have extra is River Channel. <laughs> Item number four is storm water ERU discussion only. Patrick, did those get sent off? Uh, I believe they have. I'll double check with Melissa, but she was just kind of going over some final numbers and a few tweaks, and I, I'm pretty sure she was sent that off. So I'll check with her tomorrow. Okay. All right, uh, any questions about the stormwater ERU? You guys all remember what that was? We had some numbers that just weren't quite right and we were trying to correct that list. Okay. Item number five, Artisan North Subdivision, acceptance of new road and public improvements, discussion and possible recommendation. So on Artisan North, you can see the uh, engineer's report here. <coughs> And Patrick, I've talked to Patrick and he's ready to receive the Artisan North uh, Road. What's it called, that road? Uh, Bluebird, Is it? Bluebird Court. Oh, it's called Bluebird Court, okay. <laughs> okay, any questions for Patrick or Kevin on this? Phil, Lori? No. Is this where we officially accept the responsibility of the road? Yep. Yep. Um, is it just the road, Kevin, or is it more than that? Yeah, so basically it's all the public improvements within the public right of way. So, you know, the street, the storm sewer, the sanitary sewer, the water main that goes along. We actually did a walkthrough of the project last September. Um, there were a few things that Patrick and I noted, and Gary Zapp has been out there and, you know, took care of those items. So we're definitely looking to move forward to get this in front of the village board for official approval. It's been a while since I've been down there. Did we put a fire hydrant in down there at all? Yep. We did. Yep. Okay. There's okay. a hydrant there, and that main got yep. looped. Okay, good. No dead ends. No doubt. Okay. Uh, Phil, Lori, any other questions for him about this? If not, I need a motion to approve. Move to approve the acceptance of our new road, Bluebird Court. Second. All right. Any other discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? That one's done. That takes me to item six, a Ridges second edition, acceptance of new road and public improvements, discussion, and possible recommendations. Any discussion on this one? It's the same thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Just an extension of 10th Street for all where all the twin homes were put in last last year. So kind of the same protocol as the last one. All right, move to accept the new road, the extension of 10th Street in the Ridges, number two development. Second. All right, any further discussion on that one? Uh, one question, did they, is that where we had the runoff into our park, Patrick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Is it, has that all been taken care of? That was taken care of before I could ask him about it, yep. Great. Lori, you concur? <laughs> I concur. I have. I, I don't know about spring, but so far so good. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I yep. know you mentioned you met, you're the one that let us right? know that the thing there's had, a lot of silt there on the path. So appreciate yeah. that being taken care of. Thank you okay. to the builder and to Patrick. Thank you. Yep. They, they cleaned other? it up right away and they uh, planted grass and put straw down. So they did did a nice job. Okay, great. Good to hear. Uh, any other discussion? If not, all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? That takes us to item number seven, Ridges third edition, preliminary plat and discussion only. So we've got, uh, let's see, one, two, two um, documents related to this. One is the plat and one is the engineer's uh, recommendations and comments are basically there's one item in here that we need to discuss. So have you all read the Cedar Corp memo on this? I don't know if we need to put this into the record, but basically Kevin's saying they've reviewed the preliminary plat and construction plans for the Ridges third edition subdivision in the Derrick development. We provide the following comments and recommendations pursuant to the municipal code and standard engineering practices. And he lists nine things. And we're used to seeing those. Um, the, the fifth one, the question yeah. there. Yeah, that's the one we need to talk about. So I'm going to try, I, Can you, if you get your plaid in front of you. Okay. I'm going to try and explain this the way Kevin, uh, not Kevin, but uh, Blake, uh, not Blake, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick explained it to me. Okay. So on the west side, you see Alta Avenue North coming up, and then it's now a new Alta Avenue North. It's an extension, if you will. Um, what I'm told, and Kevin and Patrick, correct me if I'm wrong, is on the west side, we have a sidewalk on Alta Avenue North coming into the new Alta Avenue North, right? So the question that he's raising in number five is, do we extend or continue the sidewalk all the way up or on the west and then what becomes the north? Is the sidewalk in? Not in yet. No, it, it would this, be constructed with this part of the development. Okay. Yeah. And all right. And the other option is we take the sidewalk up as far as that third lot, number 115, and we do a crosswalk across to the other side of the street. And then we do a sidewalk all the way up to 10th Street. Is that correct, Kevin? Yes. Yeah. To match up, there is an existing asphaltic trail sidewalk that runs down into the park. And that's what they're proposing to tie onto, which is just on the east side of that lot 105. Um, typically, uh, yeah, the crossings, we like to do those at a stop condition. Yeah. Uh, where, where they're proposing it right now is mid block. So through traffic is allowed to, you know, continue on, um, through those areas. It's kind of a more of a question. This is something that the plan commission will be um, looking at also, but I thought we should just bring it up at the public works committee meeting and see if um, the members have a strong opinion either way, um, what they would like to see done with that right. sidewalk. So these are, this, these are sidewalks we'll be responsible for, right? Correct. So our guys have to clean them. Yep. Well, the prop. Is it the property owners or is it us? They're in public the right away, but it is, yeah. It's just like your sidewalk, or if you had a sidewalk in front of your house, Brian, you have to, you have to maintain it, right? But it's it's in our right of way, so we repair it. Repair it. Yeah. Sorry. So what about Kevin. what about snow? Snow no. and yeah. That's, that's so problem. where whichever side the sidewalks on it wouldn't matter because we don't have to do anything unless it breaks and we have to repair it it's up to the property owners to keep it clear yeah just like yeah, on your grass i mean you're responsible for right up to the back of the curb 
even though right. you know, it's in the public right away. Right. Okay. Well, I was originally going to say, let's leave it all the way. Let's just leave it on the same side that it's on and take it all the way up to 10th Street and do a crosswalk up there because I was thinking we had to clean it and that would have been easier for cleaning. But if we don't have to clean it, uh, I guess I'm open to what if Phil and Lori, what do you, I don't, I don't like having a crosswalk in the middle of, you know, right there by Alta Court. It seems kind of strange to me. It would be the north side of Alta Court, Kevin. Is that correct? Yeah, that's where they're proposing the crossing. It's part of their construction plans. Yeah. So, some of their thought was it was going to be you know less driveways on that side, on the south side of the road, in relationship to the north side. So it'd be cheaper in the in the sense of doing the sidewalk to do it on the south side versus the north side it's just it's just mess, uh, less driveways where the sidewalks would go through i, I see think, again typically we like to do those at a stop sign condition for the crossing for the safety of pedestrians that was my thing is like the safety piece more than the convenience piece right yeah so is there a stop sign Anywhere here, uh, where where are the stop signs? So there'll be one up on the east side of Alta Ave North before it, you know, goes on to 10th Street. Okay. There's one down on the southern side of Alta Ave North. Where? Um, can't remember the room. At Zaleway. At Zaleway. Yeah, there you go. At what? Valeway. Mm-hmm. Where's yep. Valeway? Valeway is the one that comes off from 10th and then meets up with 10th again. It might not be on your plat. Oh, not on the plat? It'll be at the very south end of um, Alta. Yep, past the park, like Chief Jensen's. Yep. Okay, I see it, yeah. And is there a crosswalk down there? Uh, I believe Lori so. I don't think so. I don't know. Okay. The last time I walked, I haven't walked in a couple months up around that way, but I've not seen any crosswalks anywhere up in, in the ridges, actually. And maybe it's not, well, I think we covered a bunch of them up with the seal coating and maybe okay, didn't so get them. Okay. But um, yeah, you're right. The one at Valeway and Alta, I don't think there was one there because that like just all got developed. So there really was nobody. So we'll, we'll probably start painting one there, okay. I guess. For people that are walking towards that park area. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Huh. Is there side what on uh, the lower part of Alta? The sidewalk is just always on the west, right? All the way down to whatever that yep. cross yeah. is. Yeah. Yep. It's on the west side. I. It seems to me it should be at a stop sign too. I agree with Lori. Which would then say that we're basically saying we want it up at 10th Street, the crosswalk? Yes. <sighs> Kevin, what do you think the Planning Commission's going to say? Well, I think they're going to, I mean, your decision's going to hold some weight on theirs. So mm -hmm. I personally, I think they're going to see the same thing with, you know, the safety part of it. It would make some sense to have it up on 10th Street instead of mid block. Yeah. It is a little unique. You do have the other sidewalk on the south side that goes down into the park, that trail. So um where where is oh up here? Yeah. Uh, right right by 10th Street. There's a that trail easement. Is that the sidewalk? Cur well, it's just an asphalt trail that you know oh, okay. access down into that center park area. Does you know so if we did a crosswalk at 10th, um, what is on the south side of 
Alta right at the 10th street. Is there, there's no sidewalk, there's no tar. It looks like there's a little trail easement there. Yeah. So there's, so if you head to the West, there's asphalt and then go to the South, it's all concrete. It's a five foot concrete sidewalk that they built in front of the townhomes. Okay. So right, I'm, I'm talking right at the 10th street corner on the South side of Alta. If they do a crosswalk right there, what are they crosswalking onto? So either you could walk on the asphalt trail down to the park to the west, or you continue south along. Okay, so so you're saying that asphaltic trail does go all the way. It takes a right turn and goes right up to 10th Street. I mean, I'm looking at the bottom of the trail here, down by 105. <laughs> the asphalt trail goes to Vail Way, which hooks up with the, the sidewalk which we have to put in a crosswalk going across all the way, which eventually gets you to 10th street. If you're talking the South side. Okay. I, I think that There's makes sense. Workaround. What do you think, Phil? There, there is a workaround. Tell me. Well, I'm just saying, so you just don't put in sidewalks on all the way and you make everybody take the park route. Uh. Kevin, are we required to put in sidewalks? Typically that, I mean, it's kind of throughout the whole development. So that precedence is already set and set to some degree. So. I would agree with the precedence of the sidewalks in the use of those that people not only in the ridges but people live along 10th and all that come and walk up in this area okay so let's i'm assuming phil that they're going to want to the plan commission's going to stick with that precedent <laughs> so which way do you guys want to go? You want to take the sidewalk all the way up to the, on the top side of uh, Alta Avenue North, or do you, do you want to do a midway cross? Can I chime in for a sec? Sure. So if we, the, the one thing I guess that I just thought about is, so if you're going to add a crosswalk midway, you'd already, we'd have to put a crosswalk in up at uh, 10th and uh, Alta so we put another one in and it's in the middle of the block is that just from past history is that going to create an issue where we've got a painted sidewalk and then that's maybe not good enough because people don't stop for the crosswalks then we have to put up signage and then now we start you know i mean then, then we start adding more money to things where if we just put the crosswalk at the other end then there's no confusion there's no we don't have to put up crosswalk signs and uh, whatnot. That's just my thought. Then, then we've got two crosswalks that we have to paint instead of just one. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. But that, yeah. that's, that, it's up to you guys. Just a comment, Bill. What do you think? Keep it, keep it on the north side so it can it's continuous. Yes. Okay. Agree. Lori, you too. Yes. All right. So, according to. So Kevin, did that answer your question? I'm I'm with those two on that. Yeah. Um, Kevin, do you need a vote from us on this? No, it was discussion only. Okay. So I guess. Our recommendation. Know, yeah, it's our recommendation, yep. Kevin, that they keep the sidewalk on the side that's already on and do the crosswalk at 10th Street. Okay. I will. For, and say and and let them know that. We have safety in our, our mind. Sure. That's a big reason. Okay. okay. All right. That's it for number seven. Looks like 20 homes are going in there. Is that right? Yeah, 20 single family residential homes. So no twin homes with this part of the addition. What's the minimum square lot size for the village? So technically it's 13,000 square feet, but this is in that PDD district. Oh, okay. So that does allow flexibility with lot sizes, setbacks, all One, two, things. three, four, 
so five are out of compliance, basically. If they're just Six. slaying. They're right. close. Yeah, yeah, they're close. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. You bet. Um, that takes us to item number eight, street sweeping contract discussion and possible recommendation. Um, there are two, I think he's got two in here or no, he's just got one. Just one. Yeah. Just one on this. Um, and you can see the background information. He reached out to McPhelps and McPhelps ones that's been doing it. There's no cost increase to us guys. So we need a recommendation, a motion. Well, I can do that. I recommend um, that we renew the sweeping contract with McPhillips and company with the cost to be taken from the 215 stormwater funds. Second. Okay, any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Is that spending or not? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess, yeah, it would be. It's the same, well... Same I don't rate. Know. <laughs> I don't know either if it's the same rate. We're not asking for more money. We're just well. All right, let's let's do it the right way. Uh, Phil. Yes. Lori. Yes. Brian. Yes. <laughs> Motion carries. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, streets oh you can see the contract i forgot to mention that that's in your packet as well all right item number nine is tree maintenance slash removal contract discussion and possible recommendation here is where we have two of them um, we have down to earth tree service and st croix save a tree um, and you can see the recommendation uh, do you guys have any questions about it The thing about the down to earth is they, they're doing this, uh, you know, width of the tree thing. <laughs> and it, it's a little more complicated. It's not apparently not unusual. Save a tree does not do that. They're just taking the trees. And wow. I think, Pat, Patrick, you said the cost for save a tree went up how much? Uh, it went up $10. That, that should be in, on, the, on the website as well. It went up from uh, 280 to 290 but everything else stayed the same. The stump grinding, uh, the all in away uh, stuff that we trim and brush cut and whatever. So that everything was the same. Okay. Any, uh, well, I need a motion first. I move to recommend to renew the contract with St. Croix Save a Tree with funding to come from the conservation service account. Uh, we'll second that. All right. Any questions for them about it? You guys got all the info there. Get a chance to read it. Okay. All right. This is spending. Lori. Yes. Bill. Yes. Brian. Yes. Motion carries. All right. That takes us to item number 10. Chair update. I don't really have an update. I, I, you know, not very. I don't think a lot of people watch this, but uh, <laughs> there is a Snowfest event coming up. Are you guys aware of that? Okay, it's on the 29th of this month. I, I'm not. I don't have a lot of detail about it, but I know that it was brought up by Tim on an interview today. I'm not sure when that interview will be posted on YouTube um, or Facebook, but. Um, you should take a look and it explains Winterfest. Is it, and that's is that the North Hudson where everybody's supposed to come up to the skating rink and bring a set of skates and Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Patrick, you know any more about it? Uh yeah, I know a little bit about it. I guess we're um I think I had given Melissa the info on the website too. Um but we were getting getting a hold of a few other people, but yeah, there's going to be um, hot dogs and s'mores and a bonfire and hot chocolate and different, different things. So it should be fun. You got enough wood? I'm going to be looking for some. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I'm telling you, they're clearing out the acreage right behind me. You could go down there. They're burning it up left and right down here. So oh, I okay. just run 
I'd go in from Galahad and ask the guy if you can take some for that bonfire because oh. he's just clearing. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, anyway, that's all I have for chair update. Item number 11, engineering report. Kevin. Yeah, so just one thing on the Highway 35 project. Um, reached out <laughs> to the consultant just to see because I noticed that it hadn't been on the state wedding for the January 12th bid date and found out that they did move that the bid out. Um, so it's, it's not going to be in February, but it'll actually be in March. And that's on the second Tuesday. Apparently they had some delays with um, some of the right-of-way acquisitions and then some of the work plans from the utility companies. So as of now, yeah, it looks like it's going to be that second Tuesday in March is when the state wedding will be. And then by the time, you know, they get the award and contracts in place, I'll be looking at starting in May. Um, originally, we were looking at April 1st, but now with the delay, I think it's going to be yeah, that May, May start timeline. So just want to give you an update, let you know. Well, they were saying, Kevin, that they were going to be pushing their luck to get her done on a calendar year. Um, I don't understand them pushing it back a whole month. Yeah, with the DOT's kind of protocol process, there's a lot of things that go into those for the state wedding. Um, if they don't have certain things in order, they just, you know, delay the bid date. To get Are they still expecting it to be done at the same time then? far as I know, they're still playing. Yeah. <laughs> so they're just going to, they're either going to throw more people at it or they're going to work harder and faster. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, it's going to have to be a pretty big company with multiple crews to get I mean, yeah. a substantial project. Wow. Okay. Uh, any questions for Kevin about that? It's like, well, that's this one last month of having to worry about getting across the bridge. <laughs> Okay. Um, anything else, Kevin? Nope. Yeah. All right. That takes us to item number 12, director's report. Uh, I just, uh, oh, the big thing. So next month, we need to reschedule our meeting due to an election. What? Yep. Oh, good grief. Hang on a second. Throw me for a loop here. I knew I would. Uh, Let's see. So we are supposed to meet on the 16th. Yep. And I'm suggesting the 18th. A Thursday? Yep. Yeah, you knew well enough to leave Wednesdays alone, huh? <laughs> well, I didn't figure you'd be golfing. Oh, you never know. <laughs> In February. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, Thursday the eighteenth. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm I'm leaving town. What? So what? It's a Zoom meeting. <laughs> I'm on a plane during this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> what? They've got phones on planes and Wi-Fi up there nowadays, don't they? What's the problem? <laughs> With Zoom, you can be in a meeting anywhere. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me look. Let me look at something here. Uh, February eighteen. I can meet on the eighteenth, but obviously we need a different date. Huh? I said I'm good on the eighteenth, but we probably need a date that Phil can work. Uh, with. Phil, when are you landing? <laughs> uh, well, late that night, and then. <laughs> Um, do you, oh boy. How about, so what, ele, what election is that? We don't have a primary. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It was, I think it's a special election. I'm pretty sure it is, but I didn't, I'd never get into the details of what kind of an election it is. It's, it's a primary for more, school board. More. Oh, is it? Okay. 
Really? Okay, great. And, and then we have the cable guys to think about here too. Um, Lori, you and I actually do make a quorum. Okay. Uh, what about what about the seventeenth? Are you home on the seventeenth? When are you when are you gone? 18, 19, 20, 21. What about uh, Wednesday, Patrick? I guess you're gonna have to clear that. I don't know what else goes. Yeah. Yeah, I can check. That's All right, well let's let's Lori, does the seventeenth work for you? Seventeenth works for me. It's Ash Wednesday. I don't know if that impacts anybody, but and the seven. plan commission meets. Yeah, they're at seven o'clock. On Wednesday? Yeah, third Wednesday. So that Stop. one is now nah, we're done by that. Yeah. We're talking we February. There's not 30 days. The re the reason I suggested having it in the same week is when we when we have had to do this in the past and we yes. delay it till the next week, it just gets yep. to be a bind to get everything for the board. That's it all. It does, yeah. I hear you. Well, let's shoot for the 17th. Um, and since it's at 5.30, we'll be done, you know, way before the planning commission. Um, uh, uh, Nate, does that work for you? Yes, that's good. Okay. So 5.30, 17th. And Patrick, you're going to let, well, is uh, Anne Marie's here. So she's, it's, one of you two yeah, will I'll, let uh, Melissa yeah, know. I'll, or, I'll talk to her tomorrow. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. That gives us one extra day to get the agenda done, huh? <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> no. All right. Anything really. else for your, uh, for your director's report? Anything else? Yep. Um, we, uh, Melissa sent out, the job posting, um, we had uh, one of our guys uh, took another job, so we'll be um, hiring someone new again. Um, I believe it will be in the paper, is it this week? Yes, I think it's this week. Um, and it will run for two, two weeks, the ad will. And he gave a two week notice, guys, so we're good till the end yep. of the month, I think, right, Patrick? Yep. Yeah. Okay, anything else on no, director's report? All right, that takes us to number 13 Public Works Capital Equipment Current in 22 and 2022 budgeting discussion only. <laughs> I got nothing. Anybody want to buy something? <laughs> Should we be planning for something? I guess, Patrick, I, I, we're going to need, you know, direction from you about things that you see coming, you know, maybe not this yep. meeting because it's only, it's only January, but yep. anything that you might see. I mean, so what happened? So we put the pump station in, um, we'll be putting that pump station into uh, Jansen's building up there when we do the third Derek build, right? Now, Pat, uh, you guys, what's the timing on that? So, you know, that's one of my comments in here that that needs to be in place prior to any occupancy permits Good. for the buildings. Right. It's fully operational by that time. Period. Okay. Yep. Does that create, so Zach, that, that shouldn't create any issues timing wise. Do you know about when that project would start? I mean, obviously it's got to go through the plan commission and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm thinking start date would be somewhere April, May. Okay. Improvements. So, um, that, does that create any hardship for you guys, Patrick? I know you were storing some stuff in that building. Were you able to get that stuff out of the way? Oh, we got uh, most of that stuff out. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, item 14, Public Works Committee, future goals, agenda items, discussion only. I got nothing there either. Phil? I think we're just going to be busy with 35 this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what do I do with 
I, I'm sure you guys are aware of that huge pothole on 35, um, just past Freedom. It just kind of showed up this week. It comes I haven't seen every it. year. <laughs> uh, is uh, it right, where's it at? Right by the entrance to Cozy or? Just to like in between Freedom and Cozy, kind of in that area, like right yeah, around I've seen, there. I've seen that one before. Not around it without swerving into the other lane. So you're pretty much driving through, plowing through it. You know, our village has a a person on the county board. You might want to give her a jingle. <laughs> <laughs> Tell her to get it fixed. <laughs> I, can, I can make a phone call tomorrow. Yeah, that yeah. too. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Yep. Anything else on future goals, agenda items? Uh, you guys are all aware of Tim's uh, effort related to the 35 project uh, to keep everybody organized. I think he told me he has reached out to all the businesses. And so that, what it, what was it called again? What did he call that thing? Strive to survive. Strive to survive. I was thinking survival of the fittest. <laughs> Strive Either to survive. Way. Yeah, if you guys, any of you can help out with that, I'm, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of help needed. But it sounds like he's really he's making progress, and that is being mentioned on that interview he had today too. Another reason to go look at that up on YouTube whenever it's up there. All right. Other than that, item fifteen, we are adjourned at six oh six. Thanks, guys. Yep. Yeah. Thanks. See you later. Thanks, Nate.